Hello. <laughs> the biggest news in the Portland startup community this week has to do with books. You know, those things that are made of paper and have words in them and stuff, but still incredibly innovative. We had a company here in town that, you know, the founder said, hey, I have some topics that are difficult for parents and children to talk about, and it might be beneficial to do a kid's book that would help the kids understand the idea and help them have those conversations with their parents. And that was the beginning of the company was a book called A Kid's Book About Racism. Now, as you may well figure, there are plenty of topics that can be difficult for kids to discuss with their parents. There may be plenty of topics that may be difficult to understand for younger folks. And so a kid's book about went on to build a series of titles that were really well received in the industry and, you know, had some very famous people, even like LeVar Burton, help them with some of those titles. But as the company continued to grow, they also expanded into other media types. So like podcasting, that sort of thing. And so they became a kid's co. They weren't just a kid's book about, they were other types of media out there as well. Well, it turns out that a kid's book about that series of books has now been acquired by DK, which is a huge global publisher of children's books and young adult books. And so because of that, Jelani Memory, who's the founder of A Kids Co., will join DK as well as a few other people from the company. But it's a great exit. Fantastic story. If you haven't heard Jelani tell his founding story, it's definitely one worth listening to. I may try and see if there's a there's a YouTube video I can link up for you so that you can hear that story directly from Jelani. But it's just a great, great story. Great exit. Uh, now Jelani, serial founder, successful exit. Can't wait to see what he's doing next. And I may, I may have an inside scoop on what he's doing next, but that will that will remain quiet for now. And we can we can talk about that more later. I'll I'll let you know as soon as I'm allowed to let you know. But it's going to be exciting. Look, I like having you here every week, but it can be difficult to remember to show up. So just subscribe and I will magically send you a new edition of the news every single week. Thanks. Do you like the pickleball? Well, we funder, which is a, and I don't know what is up with my voice this week. It keeps cracking, but we funder, which is a, uh, funding platform for founders to, to raise capital for the startups that they're building. They're taking this, you know, across the nation kind of tour. I think it's 12 cities in 13 days or something along those lines, but they're stopping in Portland on Sunday at the people's court. They will be playing pickleball and I think there's uh, ping pong and, and maybe cornhole. They've got other things there. If pickleball isn't your thing, but highly encourage you to go visit the folks at WeFunder. I think it's the whole company. I think the whole company is taking this road trip. And so if you've ever been curious about WeFunder or more, want to learn more about their platform, or you simply just want to hang out with a bunch of other Portland founders in 105 degree heat, I suggest you head to the people's courts. Uh, obviously I'll link that up so you can find more detail on that, but uh, put on that, put on the sunscreen and, and get your little pickleball thingamajig a paddle what do they call it paddle racket and uh and go play some pickleball with the folks from weep under another big news item this week have you heard of like gdpr you know if you're dealing with customer data that the uh your the european union has specific rules about how you can deal with that data california adopted similar laws about what can be done with users data online well, Oregon had also proposed a law like that, and it went into effect this week on July 1st. I think it's Oregon Consumer Privacy Act went into effect. So if you're dealing with any consumer data as part of your startup, it's important that you know what's going on there. Let me give you the high level. Let me read it to you so that you know exactly what the Oregon Consumer Privacy Act entails. 
The Oregon Consumer Privacy Act will affirmatively provide Oregonians with a number of important rights over their personal information and imposes specific obligations on businesses who collect, use, store, disclose, analyze, delete, or modify, process, consumers' personal data, controllers, and those entities who process personal data on behalf, on behalf of controllers, processors. So this includes things like right to know, right to correction, right to deletion, right to opt out, and right to data portability. So again, if you're working with consumer data as part of your startup here in Oregon, that law has now gone into effect. I will link it up so that you can read more detail about it, but just rest assured it falls very much in line with, with what you've been needing to do under GDPR and, and under California law. But now it's, a, it's officially Oregon law and it's gone into effect. If you're looking to get to an event next week, there's a really good one in the Couve, Conversations in the Couve, which happens on Wednesday morning. Uh, Amina Monroe from Radius, the founder, co-founder of Radius, will be speaking to that group of folks. So like if you haven't had a chance to attend, they've had a series of really good conversations there. Uh, always well attended by folks in the Vancouver area. More and more folks from the Portland area are making it up that way as well. So if you have time on Wednesday morning, I highly suggest you head up to Conversations in the Couve and listen to what Amina has to say about being the co-founder of Radius. And if you're not familiar with Radius, uh, it's a very much like an Airbnb concept, only for workspace. So people can rent out their ADUs, their workspaces, as uh, spaces that people can can use on a daily basis and can kind of rent on demand. So if you're looking to get out of the house or out of the office and, and maybe have somewhere more interesting and stimulating to work out of for the day, please check out Radius. They have tons of properties here in Portland. They have properties in the Bay Area if you happen to be traveling down that way. And they will also help curate opportunities uh, throughout the United States. So that's Radius. Uh, Amina, who's the CEO and co-founder, will have some, some great insights about building that company. So get up to conversations in the Couve. And full disclosure, uh, Radius is a Pi alum, and I am the co-founder and general manager of Pi. But I think Radius is pretty cool anyway. Uh, if you've been planning to apply to the Latino Founder Accelerator and you're worried you missed the deadline, I've got some good news for you. You did not miss the deadline because they've pushed it back to July 14th. So let's not procrastinate. Let's keep working on the Latino Founder Accelerator application, get that submitted, and let's see if we can get you selected for this next cohort. It'd be really interesting to see your company in there along with any number of other latin founded companies and um you know they're they're pretty agnostic when it comes to the type of company or startup that you're pursuing so it could be food and beverage could be SaaS, could be mobile could be physical objects of some sort if you're if you're a latino or latina founder and you could use a little help and mentorship in building the business you want to build you still have time to apply for the Latino Founder Accelerator. The deadline is now July 14th, so get those applications in. All right, that's it this week. Uh, we're in the middle of a heat wave. I hope you're staying cool. Uh, check in on folks. Make sure they're doing okay. Other folks in your life, when, when it gets this hot, it gets super dangerous. And so, um, yeah, just make sure you're, you're checking in on folks and you're taking care of yourself. Hydrate, drink that water take care of yourself and until we get the chance to chat again please keep up the good work you feel like you've missed out on some portland news no worries i'm keeping you up to date right here